what was about to fade. Hello guys, welcome to the Ubisoft Forward Vision. Let's see what they have got today with us. What games we gonna see. What surprises we gonna see. Or anything. Shedding their old selves, shimmering along the haze. Embracing a new power to be transformed and awakened. Is my voice perfect or shall I increase some? They would carve their Boring. own path Boring. in the land of fire. Just a second. Huh? I will check my audio. Are we just gonna walk through this path or are we gonna some do something in pre show? So this looks quite interesting so far. He's walking in a such a peace manner. Is this related to new Assassin's Creed content or what? Or like AC? Dikar hai. Bhai, udar se hi wapis le, itna, itna fast hai ever ka. What the hell? Ye bhi na bhaag jai. Okay, maari nahi raha hai koi se.
इज वॉल्यूम परफेक्ट और साला इंक्रीज मोर अब नाइनटी राइट या इट्स नाइनटी What are your expectations from this show? In the disability community, we have a saying, nothing about us without us. It's to say our rights, access and inclusion in the world can't be met in proper or full ways without direct involvement. It's as true for gaming as it is access to a building. It's really important to us that we work with the community to improve accessibility. By not just involving, but valuing players and developers with first-hand experience of disability, we're much less likely to make mistakes in our approaches. Even if our efforts are well-intentioned, they might not really reduce a barrier or contribute to stigma. We're really thankful and proud of the community for their contributions. When I was working with Ubisoft on Watch Dogs Legion, we got to sit down at a table going through ideas on how a feature could be used, like the directional captioning, or what kind of information could be on the screen at the same time, whatever could be removed. There was a lot of going back and forth to make sure there was no confusion. It was great how they were double checking to make sure they got it right. I grew up waiting for accessibility to be something companies can talk about. Watch Dogs Legion's Play as Anyone innovation brought with it a promise of diversity and inclusion that inspired our team to make accessibility a core pillar of our design from the very beginning. The game offers a visualized sound effect system that captions hundreds of ambient world and gameplay sounds from birds singing to footsteps to cars accelerating or crashing, each prioritized by context and spatialized with a directional indicator. The Watch Dogs Legion's team is extremely proud to have achieved this new level of accessibility. But it's only the beginning. Games that are truly accessible to everyone will require continuous innovation and effort. And I look forward to seeing today's innovations become tomorrow's standards. On God Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we started working on accessibility features very uh, early in the process. We have options for players to choose their text size, but also the text size of the subtitles. You can add a background to your HUD elements to make sure the contrast is good for you. We can adjust the icon size also, uh, depending on your gaming setup. We want to make sure you get the most out of it. Ubisoft's goal is to make games that enrich our players' lives. And key to that is making games that are inclusive and accessible to all. What we've seen is that by talking to the community and learning from each other, our teams are really inspired to innovate and find solutions, striving to challenge themselves and always improve.
So again, we're gonna travel like this. I think so. Straight. Why they go? Why they won't go at the top of any building? Oh, we can. Someone message you, sir. Who is playing this right now? Ask him to go any. Just say I'm going mad or what? It sound like that only for me. How many of you have played Legion so far? Anyone? Yeah, you can answer me. On We have to wait for 46 minutes and 38 seconds when the main show begins. To reach at the top of the blue, just try to spread this one. Reach at the top. Why they are not listening to me? Thanks, Atharu Shinde. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are enjoying. That's a great news. Like, yeah. But role 
modeling is like completely nice to have that. Why am I not seeing any single bird? Well, shout out to our viewer, Atharos Jindai. There is not a single bird. There needs to be some bird. Sitting like sitting like can be seen. Can a spot a shark or a whale in this water? It's around it a use. I am hoping for some great announcements today. Uh, they have just uh, told us that uh, they will show some rainbow six extraction as far as they have posted some things. Other than that, as per rumors, or they might show some new content. Ah, yeah, they are showing new content for Valhalla. What snakes for one hour? Their books. you might often see on social media um, a game announcing that it's gone gold but the question is what does that actually mean you may not know this already so I'm gonna tell you so when we say that a game has gone gold it means that the game has been approved for manufacture so that can be Sony Microsoft Google Amazon Nintendo whichever platforms we're targeting for that specific game the game is fully playable um, it's it's stable it's got a decent level of performance um, and everything's basically working um, and also that we've passed all of the compliance requirements from those first parties and they have basically said, yep, off you go to manufacture. Uh, and then we start making the discs from there. So the term going gold comes from uh, when this was all done on physical discs. It's digital now, but when this was physical discs, the ones that were sent to the manufacture companies with that version of the game on that is, has been given the thumbs up, they were gold colored. Um, and so we still use that term today.
So when we go gold, it doesn't mean that all the work is done for the team. Um, we usually go to manufacture about six to eight weeks before launch, so there's some time there that we can use to properly polish the game and fix things like stability and little niggly issues that might impact the gameplay when we go live. One of my best memories from, from shipping a game is when we were working on uh, The Division 2. Um, and we decided quite last minute there that we wanted to make some improvements to the onboarding and tutorials right at the beginning of the game. So what that involved was me running around the office, just speaking to people, trying to see what was possible, what was safe to do, what changes we could make that were really going to improve everything. Um, and it was great to be able to work that tiny bit of magic right at the end that was going to improve the experience for everyone. So when a game goes gold, that's quite a big milestone for the team. Uh, it means that something that they've been working on for quite a few years is almost ready to go. So remember to give them a shout out when you hear a game's gone gold. Uh, it means that we're all really excited to see you get your hands on the final product. Sing some song, guys. We can sing. Sing. I don't remember the song, but uh, there is one like. What was that song? You read. This music from Ireland, yeah. Seriously. When I started this project, the homework I got so from awesome. <laughs> from the Ubisoft team was yeah, go home and play. Really awesome. I really love it.
My name is uh, Einar Salvik, a musician and composer from Norway. My name is Julie Fowlis and I'm a musician and a singer from Scotland. I predominantly sing in Scottish Gaelic. The music that I perform is deeply rooted, the music of the Highlands and Islands in particular. I understood quickly that myself and people in the music team of, of Ubisoft, we had a lot of the same ideas of, of and, and vision of what my part in it could be. When I decided I wanted to have Julie on board and she's accepted, I could already hear the music in a way. I've known Julie for a, for a long time, been a, been a fan and uh, yeah, always hoped uh, at, at some point uh, come a, an opportunity to do something together. I do connect to, to, um, to her way of approaching the older um, song traditions. It, it feels great to have her part of this. It was certainly a, an amazing opportunity to work with Einar. I love his work, I love his music, and his approach to making music. To work with Einar on these songs um, was just something to me that felt quite natural and really enjoyable, actually. I implemented instruments such as the, um, the lyre, which would be the most common string instrument at the time. I, of course, used the, uh, the, the bronze horns that we uh, also have in, in Scandinavia and, and was present in Ireland at this time and, and for a long period before this as well. One instrument that I introduced that I didn't use in the main game is, is the kruth. It's a form of lyre, uh, was present in both Ireland and Wales and Scotland. So of the two songs that we worked on, one of them was in Old Irish, uh, Flan Fod Eden. That is actually an excerpt of a poem dating from the early 800s. That was the intention of the song, creating a, a, a praise poem for Flan. The Leafal is, there are many strange myths about it. It is sort of the, the coronation stone that had a power of choosing the, the king. When a truthful king would touch it, the ground would resound beneath it. It is sort of the, the heartstone of Ireland. It was really a great experience working on these two songs. They were very, very different uh, stylistically. Um, and linguistically also. We wanted the Gaelic language, Old Irish uh, Gaelic, which is a mysterious language. This is a, a language that we have evidence of through writing, but we don't know how, how it sounded. We don't actually know for sure how it sounded, so it's a little bit uh, of uh, educated guessing. The legend is that the stone will bring woe, but the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. But Kira is a very important uh, character in this story. Yeah, Kira means the dark-haired one, and it was challenging for me too. I had to I adopt the, the voice of this amazing character later, who's a very, very yes, strong yes. character. But, but it was yeah. really incredible um, recording the awesome. voice parts like, and being directed yeah. in real it time it from Canada. I put a lot of heart into my work. It's important that it reflects the, the game, but also reflects the culture. The music and the language, they really shape our identity as Gales. It was hugely satisfying to work on the music. And actually for me, it was a great way to channel some creativity during the pandemic.
1986, Brittany, France. The Gimo brothers catch a glimpse of the future and launch Ubisoft. No internet, no emails. Just a bunch of people and a passion for technology and games. Today, Ubisoft still has an eye on a future where 85% of the jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't even been invented yet. Since Ubisoft can't predict the future, we need people ready to forge it. Talented people who aren't afraid to create the unknown. And Amandine Lower is one of those people. This is Amandine. Coucou. She hates interviews. Sorry about that. But we'll find a way, because it's worth it. I could tell you she's a junior developer, a graduate of a video game school, but I won't, because she's not. Instead, I'll tell you the story of an unexpected career path. Well, I'm the narrator, by the way. I don't really exist, but I know Amandine and I know Ubisoft. She'll correct me if I get anything wrong. I can do that. Amandine loves arts and crafts. She draws illustrations and character art. She can crochet tiny, cute animals. She studied languages at the University of Chambéry, France. She lived in New Mexico and Japan. In each new place, she started off from scratch, totally lost, barely understanding a word, and she loved it. I can't say it was always easy, but I love developing new skills to get out of tricky That's situations. That's the real champion, This right? is Peo. He hates turning his camera on during calls. But I'll make an exception for you. But he'll make an exception for us. Peo is Amandine's first real boss. He recruited her in 2016 for an internship in communications, even if she didn't have a degree in communications. She seemed daring and resourceful. He trusted her immediately. And yes, Amandine plays video games, cool, but lots of people at Ubisoft play uh, games. Many don't, so and that's just how Ubisoft cool likes it. Amandine managed Ubisoft's internal weekly newsletter. She felt this job was a perfect match for her independent spirit and her taste for new challenges. But she'll never forget Peo saying, push the button, Amandine. It will only be sent to 11,000 people. It's 20,000 now. Perhaps to Marine, she's now the one in charge of sending the email. Easy peasy. This is Colleen. She's a content communications manager. She helped Amandine build on what she learned with Peo when she hired her next. She wasn't afraid to break with convention, and I really encourage that. Because it provides a new way of doing things. Amandine started organizing conferences and writing speeches for Ubisoft speakers. She was learning something new again, and she loved it. I know it sounds weird, but she's telling the truth. I love a good challenge. But in Amandine's head, a little seed had been planted. An idea was forming. She was so close to the people making the game she loved. Two years later, it became clear she wanted to be a line designer. Amandine reached out to Elizabeth. She was leading teams of line designers at the time. The way she talked about the game she liked was so passionate and professional. She was even able to, to connect an IP to a player journey and talk about those tiny details that can sometimes make a huge difference on the quality of the game. Amandine started helping production teams design the content of their games. She's one of the bridges between the top management at HQ and the production teams in Ubisoft studios around the world. She is an interpreter, as she has always been. Yes, being a line designer is all about communication. You can always reinterpret your skills in a brand new way. Looking back, without Pio and Colleen, she would have missed a key step. That's it. Thanks, Amandine, for your inspiring story. Merci. Before I go, did you story. like this story? Head over to Ubisoft.com to hear more just like this one and maybe even take your first step towards creating the unknown with Ubisoft. And I really encourage that. <laughs> <laughs>
in you anyway. favorite racing game is Forza yeah Forza also cool. that ended soon so rated E10 Brawl Turtle Don't forget to like, share, like, comment. You can use the chat section also for the chat. Let's just aim 10 likes for this live stream. This is so satisfying. Yes, yeah, seriously, this is so satisfying. Even though that view is also great, but eyes everywhere. If I see like, if I see this thing now, like uh, walking on the ice, I just remember that. RDR two stuff. Walking on ice. That's really awesome. Hello everyone. As you may already know, Ubisoft Hello. has been supporting indie studios for many years now. 
Whether it's on production, innovation, creative or even financial support, our teams have been supporting indie studios from all over the world. Today, we wanted to use Forward to highlight a selection of indie games we've had the pleasure of supporting recently. Enjoy! Hi, indie I'm Sandro, the co-founder of Tukana Interactive, a young independent game development studio based in Berlin, Germany, currently working on Dorf Romantic. Dorf Romantic is a relaxing strategy and puzzle game where you create an ever-growing idyllic landscape by placing tiles. You can immerse yourself in a beautiful, peaceful and quiet world if you need a break from everyday life. But Dorf Romantic also offers a challenge for those who are looking for one. Because to beat the high score, you do not only need to plan ahead, but also place your tiles very strategically. We are the lucky winners for Ubisoft's Entrepreneurs Indie Camp in the German-speaking area and we are excited for the upcoming acceleration program where we participate in mentoring sessions and are able to receive marketing support such as the Indie Game Arena booth at Gamescom. Golf Romantic is already available right now in early access and will go into full release later this year. In addition, we also already have plans for mobile and the Nintendo Switch so there is a lot still to be discovered. Thank you for your time and to Ubisoft for this great opportunity. Hey all, so I'm Ann Taylor. I'm one of the co-creators of Bravery Network Online, a game by Gloam, which is our studio. Bravery Network Online is a turn-based strategy game. You've got a team of five fighters. You're playing against an opponent's team of five fighters. And they are, you know, a little bit gay. But you know, if you're not gay, that's okay too. I think that it's a really, really fun world and I think that the competitive play of it is really solid. We've been working with Ubisoft for a little bit now. We actually are the winners of Ubisoft's 2019 indie series run by Ubisoft Toronto. They've helped us out so much over the years. They've given us press support when we launched into early access. They connected us with different folks internally who could help us out and even to folks outside their company. We have a pretty vibrant Discord community and a lot of folks who've just been enjoying the game and we're really appreciative of that. Bravery Network Online is in early access now, so feel free to pick it up and send it to some friends. I would really appreciate that very personally, so thank you. Bye! Bye! Hello everyone, I'm David Prinsbell, Game Director on U-Circuit Parking. U-Circuit Parking is the world's most extreme parking game and probably the only racing game where the goal is to actually stop your car. It's a funny physics-based racer, which doesn't take itself too seriously, but still requires enough skill for you to master the hardest tracks. We crashed into the Ubisoft design team a while ago and we had some great discussions on U-Circuit Parking. They gave us actual advice and great feedback along the road. And they've been championing the game ever since, so we're super grateful for them. Yusuke Parking presents you with a ton of varied and surprising levels. The goal is to fill every parking spot before the timer runs out. And don't get too attached to your cars though, because you'll have to respawn a lot. For the competitive players out there, there's leaderboards in every level so you can compete with your friends and the world for those top spots. And for everyone that's feeling creative, we've also included a level editor that features everything that's in the main game, so you can go all out and be creative and make your own tracks. So you want to know how much you suck at parking? You can already do so. Download the demo. You can also talk to us, show us your best moves, or talk to other parksters at our Discord. Uh, happy parking! Okay, wow. Four on Go, 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 fight, fight, fight. Kill someone. Kill brutally someone. Wiping stuff.
guys, we are just 10 minutes away. Start the main show. Don't go stick here. Hi everyone. I'm Molly Vigedon, producer here at Ubisoft Ivory Tower. The Crew 2, launched in 2018, reaches its third anniversary. It's been a very intense year with multiple content deployment. Every four months, a new season, and every two months, a new episode. We delivered all the content announced one year ago. And for this, I would like to warmly thank our teams here at the studio for their work and commitment despite the COVID-19 context. But it's also time to warmly thank you, our community, since we are really proud to announce that we are now more than 30 million players to have joined the Crew franchise since 2014. And for those who have not joined in yet, what a better time to jump in the Crew 2. First, claim this amazing vehicle for only one Crew credit in-game starting that today. So sexy, also, man. next week, enjoy one event for each major update we released so far in a special anniversary live summit. But it's far from being over, and I'm super happy to announce more season for our fourth year. This new content will of That's course be available awesome. through Motherflix, new season, and episode. But enough talk, and enjoy a glimpse of your next Motherflix show. Thank you all. Welcome to special number one of the U.S. Speed Tour East around New York City, the Big Apple. Daytona, Florida, speeding along the world's most famous beach. What a perfect Daytona. day here in Miami. Fans are gathering, drivers are ready. Hey, I think we're going to have a great race today. Hello guys, we are live. We are live. 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 Oh. Hello guys, we are live from the show. You are almost, we are waiting for you. Got the whole place rocking, it's popping, no stopping. Standing on the stage, got the whole place watching. Vacation, hotel hopping. Russell's my Jimmy's in a way that Jimmy's should not be rustled by a car. <laughs>
Hey everyone, I'm Latish Thalinadan, live producer on Watch Dogs Legion. Back in October 2020, you recruited a resistance, filled DedSec, and saved our near future London. Since then, you have jumped in online mode with friends, dared our tactical ops, and fought for London with Mina. Now, on behalf of the team, I'm proud to give you a taste of what's coming up in Watch Dogs Legion Bloodline. Got a simple job for you, Aiden. Huge payday. What's the catch? It's in London. That's where your nephew Jackson lives, right? Anyway, the job's pretty straightforward. Break inside Broken Tech and steal a device giving control over an army of weaponized robots. That thing must not fall into the wrong hands. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I, hey, I know you. Give me that. This, uh, no, no, no. Three. I need it for a thing. Two. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Uh. Little device stolen by your partner. The one in the stupid mask? I can find him. I just don't think I can trust you without some insurance. I'm just tired of criminals and con men running the world. I need you to pay attention. How do I tame the deer? How do I tame the deer? Oh, not like that. Um, my bad. Now I feel bad.
everyone, and welcome to Ubisoft Forward. I'm Mila. And I'm Yusuf. We're so thrilled to be back hosting Ubisoft Forward. Over the next hour, we'll be your guides to all the latest news and exciting announcements coming from Ubisoft. Yeah, We've got so much in store for you today, now. including deeper looks yeah, at Far Cry 6, Riders Republic, and Rainbow Six, plus a few other surprises you'll find out about soon enough. Neelam, I'm it's excited. Time. We're I'm filming excited. this together. So we got much. this gorgeous set. E3 is back. But I know why y'all are here. You want to see games. So let's get right into it. The Rainbow There's Six operators are facing off against an evolving and deadly threat. You'll no doubt have noticed that the alien parasite has spread to new areas. It's time to suit up and step into the containment zone. Here's a deeper look at Rainbow Six Extraction. Finally, finally, I we are seeing the, so much this game after a long into the heavens year. Until a piece of it fell. Oh, oh God, that's just so thriller. And the nightmare began. We thought it could be contained. But it evolved. So we did too. One of our own is MIA. I need an extraction team, now. If there's a way to stop them, you will find it. But I know you will Lord. find me. That's first. great. Seriously, that's great. Tom. Okay, the plan. Nomad, secure our exit. I'll take out the nest. And I'll find Ibana. I have your signal. Let's go. Welcome to the cha chat city on the stream too. I hope you are there. Clock's ticking. I found her. <gasps> hey, Bana, hold on. That's amazing. Seriously, I'm Nice, is okay. Make for the exit. Yeah. Nice. It's like this agent will fit and zombies are attacking. attacking. Our operations, so called operations. Boom! Now, I know you must have a ton of questions after seeing that trailer, and we have answers as well as a full gameplay walkthrough okay. coming up, so hang tight. My name is Richard. I'm your resident community developer coming to you from North Carolina. We're thrilled to be back to give you an introduction to Rainbow Six Extraction. With me today in Montreal, I have Bruno Lalonde, our lead technical director, 
and Alicia Fortier, game designer, to help walk us through. Alicia, what can we tell our players about Extraction? Extraction is a one to three player co-op experience. You might think you know what you're getting into since there's gonna be some of your favorite Rainbow Six operators, but it's gonna be completely different because this time you're not fighting against each other. You're coming together to face an unprecedented, evolving alien threat. Some of the operators' abilities, gadgets, and tech should feel familiar to Siege players, but this time, as you progress through the game, you'll unlock new ability upgrades and a whole new arsenal specifically designed to take on this new threat. The so the operators we just saw in that trailer are very familiar, but what happened to Hibana? She got captured. In extraction, you're always putting it all on the line. If your teammate falls during an incursion, you're gonna go missing in action. You can't play MIA operators until they're safely recovered. You and your squad are gonna have to come back together to get back in there and get them out. Every time you go in the containment zone, you risk losing all your progress and upgrades. So stay on your toes and weigh every move you make. Balancing that That's risk and reward big. scenario is going to be tough. Bruno, can you tell us a little bit more about the alien threat? What is it? Who are they? And where do they come from? What we know is the Arkings are an evolved form of the parasite that was first detected a few years ago during the heartbreak event in New Mexico. But a lot has changed since. The parasite has spread to three new regions, emerging in several containment zones within New York, San Francisco, and Alaska. This is what we know so far. Within the containment zones, the alien ecosystem is in a continual evolution as incubation nests and their sprawling tissue spawn procedurally, taking over different areas of the map and reaction to the player presence. The parasite is always spreading, always evolving, but it didn't look too happy about the operators disturbing their new home. What are we facing off against? Well, the black gulag sprawl is probably the first thing you will take on. It spreads to the map once your presence is detected, slowing progress and helping the Arkings. Some of the other threats you may have seen in the trailer are the long-range spiker, the explosive breacher, the shape-shifting tormentors, and the apex. There's a lot more species of Arkings and mutations that have been observed. More to come on that very soon. Thank you both so much for joining me. I'm really excited to dig into more of the details. We still have crossplay to talk about. Yes, that's right. Extraction will bring everyone together regardless of the platform. And for our Rainbow Six Siege community, we have exclusive unlocks for you in both games. Okay, you've been waiting long enough. Let's take an exclusive first look yeah. at some gameplay footage. Just show you, just Here show you. is Rainbow Six Extraction. You have great and long. More than an year. Yeah, more than a year. Welcome to Rainbow Six Extraction, the new tactical co-op shooter game where Rainbow Six operators are dropped into alien territory. In today's walkthrough, we're on a mission to investigate anomalies identified at the Orpheus Research Center in Alaska. HQ will provide additional instructions. We need new data on the Parasite's underground network. It keeps evolving, adapting. Plant auto trackers on dormant nests. Don't destroy them, or we'll lose I the think trackers. Most of the stuff is safe. As a Just squad of three, yeah, Ella, no. Alibi, and Sledge will use their operator abilities to complete objectives, assist each yeah. other, and obliterate Archeans in their way. Drone spinning up. I love the level design. That's a grunt. Easy for a nest to incubate and bring to life, not so easy to eliminate in large numbers. Converge on location. Nice and quiet. The enemy reacts to intrusions in their ecosystem, including operators. Eliminate my target. So stealth tactics are the way to go. Visual on nest. Place auto trackers for our react scientists. Auto tracker activated. Auto tracker activated. Parasite generates sprawl, a substance that connects the whole ecosystem. Alert an Archean, 
and a nearby nest wakes up too. Our cans move faster and sprawl, but operators get slowed down. Take my guy out. Okay, we the squad can use their react light to see bioluminescent properties in our cans and in the environment. The contrast helps to better identify targets. Nest mapping complete. A scientist just gave me the thumbs up. Good job. Identifying Archean variants helps the team determine the best approach to take them out. Spotted a rooter. That's it can immobilize nice. anyone in front of it. So Sledge will swing around back. Stand the output. Get out of there before the swarm appears. Don't push your luck. Seeing this uh, grand time. That was close. Here, the team can regroup and resupply. Airlock doors will open onto the next sub zone, which will be tougher than the first. We need tissue samples from those Archies, and we need them gone. Use your React Blade. Located a spiker. It can fire armor piercing projectiles. Alibi deploys a Prisma hologram. Deploying the base. End of the line. The squad can use React Tech to go further in incursions. The more intel they collect, the more tech they'll have at their disposal to fight off this threat. It's all about teamwork to outsmart the enemy. Barricade that spot. The wall. Creating a choke point is a good idea to increase the arc mine's efficiency. Eyes on hostile! Now that's the way. Keep hunting. That's the react threat sensor. Smasher incoming. What the hell? That's look like a big guy. Damage or not? We are wow, that dude. You take a big point. leader. No leader for the Archies to follow. Another objective completed. The squad can either exfil at the extraction point to bring home the latest intel, or move to the next airlock. The third subzone will be the most challenging yet. A true test of both tactical team strategy and operator reflexes. That's great. I want to see this. Some Archeans are responding to an elite as if they're communicating. No way we'd let them mobilize right, no. against us. Hunt them down until the elite comes out of hiding. Lurker. What the God damn. This is exciting. This is exciting.
heard it. A rescue mission is underway. React still needs you. Operators, it's time to unite and great, stand together against work. this emerging threat. Great work. Squad up with friends in co-op or step into the containment alone. Stay that tuned for more Rainbow Six Extraction yeah, intel seriously, coming very work. soon. If you think fighting aliens is tough, try learning guitar. Well, that was a segue. Ten years ago, Rocksmith redefined music learning by introducing uh, the first console game that taught millions how to play guitar. Morning. Whether you're already an expert or just starting out, Rocksmith has an approach that's for everyone. A fun and interactive way to learn guitar, playing your favorite songs. And in the decades since its release, our community and its impact have only amplified. This year, let's turn it up to 11 and see what's next for Rocksmith. Plus. Please register on Google Play. Okay, it's on PC. Yeah. I'm Arthur Von Nagel, producer at Ubisoft San Francisco, and Rocksmith has truly been a dream project for me. As a lifelong gamer and a touring musician, Rocksmith is what I wish I had when I started learning music. And that's why I'm thrilled to share the next evolution of music learning. Rocksmith Plus, a new interactive music learning subscription service available this year. Learn how to play guitar and bass by playing along to master recordings of your favorite songs. Connect your instrument to your PC, console, or mobile device and get real-time feedback as you play. Connecting with Rocksmith Plus will be easier than ever Next now that you can use your life. phone as a microphone. So Download the app, anything. log anything. in, Sync to Rocksmith Plus, set it down, and play along. Playing now playing acoustic players there. and electric players yeah, with amps easy. can use Rocksmith Plus yeah, with anywhere. no extra Carry gear it needed. Anywhere. It's Probably. a game changer. And we're excited to reveal Rocksmith Plus will have a huge amount of songs at launch. All songs in the library will have chord charts that will be perfect for rhythm players who want to learn the foundation of a song to hum and strum along to. We'll still have the note-for-note -note authentic arrangements for players that want to play songs exactly how the artists originally played them. And each week, we release a steady stream of new authentic arrangements to keep growing that portion of the library. We're also introducing the Rocksmith Workshop, nice. a new tool that lets users create and add their own here. arrangements for but songs yeah, we've licensed. Nice. Your subscription will give you access to all those songs. More content than ever before, including genres beyond rock, 
but pop, hip hop, country, Latin, R&B, all sorts of metal subgenres. We'll have music from all over the world, from big stars to indie darlings. It's the most diverse song library ever seen in music learning software. Rocksmith Plus will still have our proven practice features like adaptive difficulty and riff repeater, which let you practice and learn at your own pace or slow down and repeat tricky parts until you master them. We've improved those features That's in Rocksmith Plus nice. and are introducing new ones. Beginner and intermediate players will Beginner benefit players from more be personalized learning thanks to an enhanced recommendation system and more robust progress tracking. Players won't just see their growth on a single song. They can now monitor their progress technique by technique across the board and overall offer a better sense of how you're improving over time. Advanced players will be happy to know we're introducing a new Rocksmith Tablet Review. That way you could take advantage of Rocksmith Plus's song library and practice tools in a format that's familiar and one that will hone your tab reading skills. We're excited to announce that you can register for a chance to participate in our closed beta right after the show. Visit our website at rocksmith.com to get an early look at Rocksmith Plus and help us test and create the future of music learning. Thank you so much to the amazing fans who have enjoyed and supported Rocksmith over the past 10 years. Let's jam together with Rocksmith Plus for another 10. Wow. Register now for a chance to play the Rocksmith Plus beta. Summer's coming and nothing gets thrill seekers blood flowing like bright sun and fresh trails. And Riders Republic will give them just that. Last year, you got a first look at our massive multiplayer outdoor sports show sure game. Sure Since then, gameplay. the project's grown by jumps and grinds. Riders Ridge, the Republic's stomping ground. From here, you can meet like-minded riders. <laughs> Manage your career. Learn to nail those wild moves. Stay stylish. Share your creations with the Republic. Stay on top of the latest news. And take up some ferocious two? multiplayer okay. action like free for all or tricks okay. battle, okay. our six versus six team competition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here's how it works: performing big tricks on the modules will turn them from red to blue, and every trick that you stomp will contribute to your team's overall score. You still with me? Okay. When your team has turned all the modules blue, you capture that district, which will help multiply your score into the big time. Progress, progress, progress. To unlock more content, you gotta earn those stars. That's huge, that's so, huge. So, if you want to be the boss of your own career, the world's most famous competitions are waiting for you. Now, some might say the best parts of the Republic can be found in the city playground. We've got modules that you can slay for days. Oh. Is this skating any good? That's awesome. Maybe you're all about living on the edge. Either way, to progress, you've got to earn those stars. Having the right rig is important, too. Diving. We've all got our preferences. Oh, workman, workman. Cycling. All right, I get it. 
Sometimes you just want to explore and bathe in nature. Yeah, I will. I would love to explore these things without doing anything. Just explore. That's right. Everything you do counts. Getting those stars means more rad to be had, and the Republic will abide. There's always something awesome to do as you reach new milestones and unlock more challenges. <laughs> it's the Red Bull Joyride, people. It's in. Oh, it's that's... spectacular. It's the biggest stage in slopestyle mountain biking. And that guess what? Was big. You can play it versus your friends. There is so, the... so much more. More stunts. What the fuck is this game you did? More yeah. sports. More events. Just more, okay? And a natural outdoor playground for you and your friends to enjoy. Any way that you want. When we say fun with everyone, we mean it. Look at all these riders. What the max limit? But... Does this speak to you? Then don't miss okay, out 64. on mass races. <laughs> so, we, at the time, we can play with 64 players. Yeah, 64. At the time. One was a 64. Okay, we'll be the first to complete the race. Among the 64 one. <laughs> Break. The Republic awaits you, Ryder. See you soon. He was a release dead. Thanks to be a place in some of the beta. Okay, register now. Don't Guide keep the mountains waiting. Now for this Ryder's Republic is coming this September is 2nd, and you can pre order now and claim your right to rip. Okay, so we've seen some of our favorite Rainbow Six operators battling alien parasites. But how's their day job going? You know, ever since Crimson Heist, we're still trying to clear all those pesky Flores drones off the maps. Year six is off to a blazing start, with Siege passing 200,000 concurrent players a few weeks ago. If you haven't joined in yet, 2021 is the perfect time to drop in. into our journey with Siege, we are humbled and grateful for the enthusiastic community that has supported this growth. So today is all about sharing quality of life developments that will dramatically improve player experience. With the community growing every day, we've been hard at work finding ways to improve your ability to play with your friends and meet new players. On June 30th, we are unifying our PC and cloud-based platforms with crossplay and cross-progression. That means that any player on Amazon Luna, Stadia, or PC will be able to queue into games together while having a unified account progression. And for console players, in early 2022, crossplay will be available between PlayStation and Xbox okay. platform, and the cross progression so will be available between wait, all no. platforms. Like six months. For these updates, Maybe. we needed a bit more time in order to prepare and make sure they have a smooth launch. Bringing these player bases together benefits everyone. It will finally allow you to play with your friends across different platforms. It also means that your progression will now follow you anytime and anywhere you play. We know crossplay is a feature a lot of you has been anticipating, and we are thrilled to see the enthusiasm its announcement has inspired. From your amazing fan art to the awesome cosplays, the Rainbow Six community is the lifeblood that keeps this game moving forward. We cannot thank you enough for your support. It is because of you that Siege keeps evolving and growing. To wrap up, here's a brand new animated trailer starring Thunderbird, the new Defender joining Team Rainbow. Check this out. Ready? Six years ago, I met a pilot. She saved my life. That symbol, 
What does this mean? <laughs> this jacket was my father's. Dagu Wakan, Wichakti. The creator's star has many meanings. Love, wisdom, bravery. Suits you. Listen, I need to get this bird in the air. You try to get some rest. Yo, de bus. Take this. New projects aren't the only things to be excited about this year. Take a look at the incredible updates coming to our live games in 2021. From the release of the Ghost Experience to the latest teammate update, Ghost Recon Breakpoint keeps evolving thanks to your feedback. But that's not all. As 2021 marks the 20th anniversary of the Ghost Recon franchise, we are happy to announce that there are still many more surprises to come. Stay tuned, Ghosts. That's great. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Just Dance has always been about connecting with friends and family. When you're in good company, there are no bad dancers. So move the coffee table, alert the local homeowners association, and let's get loud. Just Dance. My name is Todd Recall, and I'm a singer, dancer, actor, director, and choreographer. I am super excited to announce that my song, Nell Terry Hips Hills, is going to be a part of Just Dance 2022. But that's not all. Oh no, for the first time ever, the Just Dance team and I are collaborating to give you an exclusive version of my song for Just Dance 2022. Girl, I don't dance, I work. work. I don't 
play, I slay. I don't walk, I strut, 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 and then sashay. To me, Just Dance allows people to express themselves through dance and to celebrate who they are and their individuality in such a fun way. Just Dance has transformed millions of lives and I hope that this song brings you all so much joy. Whether you're dancing alone or with a group, to work out or just to have fun, it's going to be a great time and I can assure you, you will not just play, you will absolutely slay. The new lyrics were handcrafted specifically for Just Dance and let me tell you something, they're full of sass because, you know, they were written by yours truly, but I guarantee they are going to give people so much confidence. That's the reason why I wrote Nails Her Hips Hills and now it's been just danceified. I don't think they're ready for this jelly. I hope you all have just as much fun dancing to this track as I had making it. Oh, and one last thing, you will have the opportunity to be a part of the making of my new video, which will be released alongside the new Just Dance track. For more information on how to participate, darling, just check the link below. We got you. I cannot wait to see you all living your best life and being the most fabulous you have ever been. I will see you all in Just Dance 2022. Girl, girl, I don't dance, I work. I don't play, I slay. I don't walk, I strut, 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 and then sashay. It's time to get our Viking on. It was a big year for the new chief of the Raven Clan, but your journey with Eivor is far from over. So something new. This is gonna be a new deal. In November 2020, we released Assassin's Creed Valhalla. To our delight, it was the biggest launch for any Assassin's Creed game to date, and we have you to thank for that. Becoming Eivor, a Viking leader going on a quest to fight for a new home, is an adventure that resonated closely with many of you. I certainly had fun exploring England with Eivor and stumbling across unique world events that left me with memorable side stories. Thank you, Eivor. We're amazed to see how you dedicated yourselves to the Viking lifestyle. You've led more than 300 million raids in total and built more than 100 million buildings in your settlements. Congrats. Eivor still has a long journey ahead, and we've been continuing to offer free updates for all players to enjoy post-launch. These updates include time-limited festivals, new quests, and even whole new game modes such as the River Raids update and the Mastery Challenge. Thank you for this challenge. We add in community requested tweaks and features too. For instance, we'll be adding one-handed swords in the coming weeks. The team is also working hard at tackling issues and improving the game experience for everyone. We've been tracking various known issues on our forums and also shared our complex bug fixing process in a recent dev blog. We love seeing your continual feedback, and we thank you for your patience and support for the game. On top of regular free updates, we're also building on Eivor's story and the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla through game expansions. Wrath of the Druids released a few weeks ago, allowing players to explore Ireland and battle a mysterious cult, the Children of Danu. That looks great, man. That was good. Okay. In our second bird. upcoming expansion, but you'll get to relive fine. the Siege of Paris. This is the most ambitious battle in Viking history, taking place in war-torn Francia. You'll have to do everything in your it power to uncover so enemy much. secrets and form strategic alliances in order to safeguard your clan's future. Players may be excited to learn that black box infiltration missions are returning. This means you're given a goal for a mission, but how you'll achieve it is up to you. Expect new abilities. <laughs> weapons. Nice. Gear. That ability was and of good. course, new enemies. Even, I like the hairstyle. Watch out for the Siege of Paris coming this summer. 
Nice. Assassin's Creed has long focused on the exploration of history, and we are happy to announce that the new Discovery Tour will be released this fall. It will be free to all who own Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Explore the world and take a deeper dive into the history of the Viking Age. The team has crafted a new experience where you'll get to play as people during the time of Vikings and follow them in their endeavors, big and small, while collecting exclusive rewards. Whether you're an Assassin's Creed fan with a heart for history or a student looking to supplement your knowledge, the Discovery Tour Viking Age will have you covered. Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't stop here. For the first time on an Assassin's Creed title, we'll be supporting the game well into its second year. While this year will be a very active year for the game, we're already working on more expansions for next year. Something tells me that Eivor is not done with Odin yet. Oh. Seriously? He's just coming back? I'm just blown. I'm just blown out there. So you've seen some great games from us, but we also have news about the movies and TV series we've been working on. Our Ubisoft film and television team has some exclusive content to share. Up first is Mythic Quest, the workplace comedy set in a game development studio that's streaming on Apple TV+. If you haven't watched the second season yet, here's a look at what you've been missing before the upcoming season finale. Why do you have goosebumps? This is an involuntary reaction to... Being inspired? I was emotionally manipulated. What's the difference? Oh! <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. Except make it about me and not the world. I feel really seen and heard. I don't want to see you uh, or hear you. She played us to get what she wanted. She inspired us. She emotionally manipulated us. What's the difference? Up next is an exclusive look at a new trailer for our feature-length movie, Werewolves Within. It's a whodunit with teeth that'll be coming to theaters June 25th and on demand July 2nd. Hello everyone, I am Josh Rubin, the director of Werewolves Within. And I'm Sam Richardson, the star of Werewolves Within. Werewolves Within was based off a Ubisoft game and we're so excited to bring you an exclusive look just for you. Check it out. Dr. Ellis? I told you, she's probably tight. Oh! Oh! Touch this door again. I'll shoot. Again. Dr. Ellis? Knock it down. Lock, please. Look, we need answers. It didn't Knock disappear. What did you say? It didn't disappear. Shh, shh, shh. What? It's not Emerson Flint. It's one of you. Oh. Okay, well, what are her eyeballs saying? look, we don't understand. Uh, could this please come out? I'm afraid I can't do that, Ranger Wheeler. You could be one of them. What is it? One of what? A lycanthrope. A what? A werewolf. The roads are apt. Something's wrong with the generator. Also, there's a dead body under your porch. Ah! Yes! Ah! Oh, I'm gonna go get a croissant. Out of curiosity, who is packing? We having a good old fashioned sleepover. With guns, though. With guns, yes. Everybody's going, how the heck? <laughs> Not uh, littering, I'm just excited. Not judging, just watching it. Follow Mythic so Quest on Apple TV Plus and be sure to catch Werewolves Within this summer. In theaters or on your on demand platforms. No hero story is complete without a great rival to match them. After all, even the most vile tyrant is a star of their own narrative. 
When it comes to memorable villains, no one does it better than Far Cry. Please, we have to get oh, on that get boat. Everything. Abuela, what the hell I'm gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, oh, yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket for his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get out of here. Get us on. Gracias. Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a fishing boat. You mean, no, no! El Presidente. Mi papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. Ha! <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. You've just seen another disturbing lesson from Anton Castillo, passed down to his son Diego as he grooms him to become the future ruler of Yara. The most important part of crafting a Far Cry villain isn't the fact that they're evil or shocking, it's that there's someone that could sit across from you at the dinner table and charm you into thinking that everything they believe, no matter how twisted or horrifying, could be absolutely true. That's the secret to Anton's power, and we couldn't be prouder to have him join the Far Cry family. Now, when creating Anton, we had quite a lot to live up to. Because when you think Far Cry, you think about its rich legacy of villains. Which makes today 
a very special day for Far Cry fans. Not only did we get to see into the mind of Anton Castillo, we finally get to unveil some of our post-launch plans. Our dream was to honor the Far Cry villain's tradition okay. and introduce a brand new experience. It is time to see the other side. Go further down the rabbit hole, and it's up to you to find a way out. Are they talking about expansions? <laughs> Are they talking about oh, did they come in? I was watching. Oh. My, my, what a happy family. <laughs> RJ, tell your mother and sister to. <laughs> I am a king who isn't afraid to slaughter to get what he wants. In my way. Is this a test? A dream? An opportunity? Then I will not waste it. We're so excited for you all to check out this next game. Oof, Neelam, I can't wait to get my hands on this one. Hmm. Isn't this Mario's? A part two of Rabbit. Mario plus Rabbit.
God. Uh, isn't that human or what? Okay, we have seriously. Mario plus one. The whole team is super proud of this new game, and I can't wait for you to experience it. It's fair to say that we did something quite surprising with the concept of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom battle. And for this project, we didn't want to stop there. Hi, everyone. Mario and the Rabbit are back. And I'm so excited to be back as well today to unveil our new project, Mario plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. We are diving back into this unique crossover with even bigger ambition, expanding our universe on a major scale. This time it's not just the Mushroom Kingdom, there is an entire galaxy to save. To do so, you will lead a brave yet reckless team of unique heroes, including some fresh faces like Rabbit's Rosalina and other surprises. On their quest to repel evil across the galaxy, their spaceship will bring them from planet to planet. They will be facing a powerful villain Cursor, an enemy unlike anything our heroes encountered before. But they won't be alone. By their side, they will have their new allies, the Sparks. These surprising creatures, born from the merge of rabbits and Lumas, will lend their wild powers to our heroes. Their natures and origin are at the core of our story. But let's keep some surprises for later. <laughs> After the tremendous success of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom battle, the entire team was moved by the amazing reception from players across the world. We were stunned by the love we felt for this unexpected team up. We know we've been off the radar for a while now, as we wanted to take the time needed to bring this crossover to the next level. It's not just a new story with new enemies, new heroes. Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope has big ambitions. It introduces new action elements into the mix that will push the boundaries of tactical games even further. That being said, we also wish to offer an easy to play experience for all players, yet hard to master for those of you that are willing to take the challenge. And you'll be able to experience this cosmic adventure exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. We can't wait to tell you more about the game soon. There is an entire galaxy to save, and we cannot wait for you to experience it. Yeah, we can't wait. So we're not done yet. 
Let's check in with our CEO, Yves Guimau. Hi everyone. As you have seen, we have a fantastic and diverse lineup of games coming soon. And this is just the beginning. Thanks to all the teams at Ubisoft for what they achieved and for always striving to deliver the best possible game experiences. I'm humbled by their resilience, energy and collaboration, especially during what has been a challenging year. I'm also proud of our industry's ability to bring together millions of players from around the world to share memorable experiences and moments of joy. This is one of the real powers of video games. And it is what motivates everyone at Ubisoft to do our best. Finally, my sincere thanks to you, the players. We appreciate the trust you place in us. Your involvement in our games communities keep them growing and vibrant. We want to create original, enriching, long-lasting game worlds. And your contributions, feedback, and support make it possible. We also are proud that some of the biggest names in entertainment trust our creative teams to develop games within their universes. For example, you just saw Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope developed in collaboration with Nintendo, where everyone's favorite Mario and Rabbit's characters return for an all new adventure. And speaking of great partnerships, there is one more exciting thing we would like to show you today. It is a glimpse of the amazing journey that awaits you in one of the most beautiful but dangerous places of all, brought to life by the latest version of our Snowdrop engine. I'm excited to share this first look with you now. Enjoy. Are they going to show premium footage? Oh, seriously? Isn't this Far Cry? Sorry, 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 Avatar? Fuck, isn't this Avatar? Seriously? Seriously, man? What the fuck? It's real. Avatar, oh my gosh. Seriously, after a long wait, we are seeing this game, man. That's fucking crazy. Wow.
that's great seriously great the whole we are waiting for this game and it's here you understand now you and i Thanks to Eve and all the devs that joined us to share what's new with Ubisoft. Today, we battled some Archeans in Rainbow Six Extraction, learned some new songs in Rocksmith, got an adrenaline rush from Riders Republic, lit up the dance floor in Just Dance 2022, visited new shores in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, witnessed a chilling confrontation in Far Cry 6, and teamed up with our favorite man in overalls in Mario Plus Rabbids. Don't go anywhere. There's still more to come in the post show. Bye, y'all. I think it's important to have a First Nations character in a mainstream game because Indigenous women especially are very underrepresented in um, mainstream media and that's what we're um, hoping to, to change with this character. The creation of Thunderbird does have immense potential to bust on all those, all those negative stereotypes about even Indigenous women, Indigenous people. If there's anything that can help target an audience to become more interested in Nakoda community, it's probably technology. And Ubisoft is right in touch with the highest technology games. And, and something like this can have a really big impact on youth. And um, I'm excited to see the outcome of, of Thunderbird. Thunderbird was born in the Nakoda Territory in Saskatchewan. Her civilian name is Nina Skye. She values her community and she's also a protector, whether it's of people, the community, or the land. We knew that we wanted this character to be a pilot, a helicopter pilot, but we didn't know exactly in which field she would be working. So I asked the consultants if they had any sort of feedback or information that they wanted to take into consideration when picking the work field in which this character would be working. I suggested that Thunderbird be a, a technical um, expert within hydrology because we believe as Nakoda people that water is life and that within that is the struggle of protecting and preserving the environment. When we started talking about weapons or, or tools that this character would have, we were kind of tossing around different names. I made a suggestion and say Nakoda words as, as simply as possible, that Kona would be actually a good name because it means friend. Thunderbird's gadget is a little bit unique. She's going to be our second operator who can raise the health of uh, their teammates. However, it can also heal your opponents. So Kona quite literally is a friend to everyone. A while ago, especially the Northern Nakoda tribes of the Great Plains, we tattooed our faces. And that's something that has been forgotten, um, even in our own histories. Uh, now it's something that we're starting to talk about, something that we want to bring back. That's what I wanted to see with this character was to grab someone's interest enough to want to go 
out there and find and, and do research of their own of who the Nakoda are, what are the Nakoda, am I a Nakoda, what's my language, what's my culture, what does this symbol mean? Thunderbird would not have existed without the input of Tarina, Jessica, and Shayna. They honestly created this character from the ground up. We never really knew each other, and we were so excited to talk about this character. And we talked about water, we talked about her name, and we talked about all of these things that, you know, that's going to represent a strong woman warrior. She's going to be representing, she's going to be carrying, and, um, you know, that was, that was really what was cool about working with, with Ubisoft and this character. I consider that today, when we work in these sectors, in these mediums, it's our responsibility to offer a maximum of representation, to give the possibility to a maximum of people to be able to identify, to be able to dream, to be able to project through our content. And that's why we're going to push de plus en plus the limits of diversity on our project. We're going to see a maximum of communities and minorities et faire en sorte que n'importe qui qui a envie de se projeter, qui a envie d'interagir avec Siege, puisse avoir une forme de porte d'entrée au travers d'un personnage qui lui ressemble. She's really bringing such an ancient historic people into the present. I hope that honors her and, and all Indigenous women and all Indigenous people. I feel that uh, us consultants work very carefully and respectfully develop a character that would make Nakoda people proud. This is something that's gonna really impact with kids that are Nakoda. I might just, you know, purchase a, a, a game console and try it out myself. <laughs>